All right, imagine this for a second. You open a foldable phone and there's no crease, like none. That futuristic thing we've been promised for years is finally starting to feel real. Samsung showed off a creaseless foldable OLED at CES 2026, and at the time everyone assumed, okay, Samsung and Apple are probably using the same panel. But turns out that's only half true. Because while both companies are chasing the same goal, they're taking very different roads to get there. Here's what's going on. According to a new report out of Korea, the creaseless OLED panel we saw at CES is indeed heading straight into the Galaxy Z Fold 8. But Apple's first ever foldable iPhone? That's getting a slightly different version of the same idea. Same OLED tech at the core, but the way the display is reinforced is completely different and that could actually change how these phones feel long-term. Normally, foldable OLED panels rely on a plastic layer, usually PET, to keep everything together. Samsung Display has now ditched that approach and replaced it with a metal reinforcing plate. The idea is simple. More structural stability, better durability, and less stress on the display when it folds. Apple, on the other hand, is reportedly going all in on glass as the supporting material. That's a very Apple move. Cleaner, more rigid, and potentially better for long-term consistency, but also a very different philosophy compared to Samsung's. What's interesting is that the OLED layer itself is basically the same for both. The real magic is happening in the layers you never see. Every foldable display is like a sandwich of components, a polyimide substrate, a backplate, the OLED pixels, a touch sensor, and ultra-thin glass on top. These layers are glued together using something called Optical Clear Adhesive, or OCA. And this is where Samsung has been quietly making huge changes. Samsung Display has reworked that adhesive layer to be less stiff than before. That sounds small, but it's actually a big deal. When the phone folds, this softer adhesive acts like a cushion between the OLED and the ultra-thin glass. Less resistance means fewer wrinkles, less stress, and a much less visible crease. Combine that with the metal reinforcement underneath, and you start to see how Samsung is attacking the crease problem from multiple angles. Apple's approach with glass reinforcement could lead to a display that feels more uniform and premium over time, but we'll have to wait and see how it handles repeated folding in the real world. This is one of those cases where both companies are clearly chasing perfection, just with very different engineering philosophies. Now let's talk timing. Both the Galaxy Z Fold 8 and Apple's foldable iPhone are expected to land in the second half of this year. And to make things even more interesting, Samsung is rumored to be working on a wider screen version of the Z Fold 8, 8 possibly to go head-to-head -head with Apple's foldable form factor. Specs-wise, Samsung is, unsurprisingly, going big. The Z Fold 8 is rumored to pack a massive 200-megapixel main camera, a 50-megapixel ultra-wide, and a 10 megapixel telephoto. Apple's foldable iPhone is expected to keep things simpler with a dual camera setup. Both phones are also said to use a side-mounted fingerprint reader, which honestly makes a lot of sense for foldables. The real battle, though, won't just be hardware. Apple could absolutely dominate with software. UI design, app optimization, and developer support could make the foldable iPhone feel incredibly polished from day one. Samsung, meanwhile, will likely continue to push ahead in areas like camera hardware, charging speeds, and overall foldable experience. And let's be real, the moment Apple enters the foldable market, things are going to explode. Millions of iPhone users who've been sitting on the sidelines might finally jump in, and that alone could reshape the entire foldable phone space overnight. So now I'm curious. If you had to choose, would you trust Samsung's metal-reinforced creaseless display or Apple's glass-backed approach for their first foldable? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read way more of them than you think. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, you already know what to do. I'll catch you in the next one, in the 